General relativity is one of the crowning achievements of modern physics, revolutionizing our understanding of space, time, and gravity. Yet, despite its successes, even Einstein's groundbreaking theory has its limitations. Today, we'll explore its shortcomings and where our understanding of gravity begins to break down. We'll first explore the successes of general relativity and then delve deep into where and why it fails, what does quantum mechanics have to do with it, what are the alternatives, and what scientists are doing about it. Let's dive right in. To appreciate the limitations of general relativity, we first need to understand where it excels. Introduced in 1915, the theory of general relativity fundamentally changed how we view gravity. Instead of being a force between masses, gravity is the warping of space-time caused by mass and energy. Massive objects like stars and planets bend the fabric of space-time, and this curvature guides the motion of objects. Relativity has successfully explained phenomena such as the precession of Mercury's orbit and the bending of light near massive objects known as gravitational lensing. It also predicted gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that were directly detected a century later. But while relativity has passed numerous tests with flying colors, it isn't the complete picture. There are realms where this theory falls short. One of the most striking failures of general relativity is its prediction of singularities, points in space-time where gravity becomes infinitely strong. These occur in extreme environments like the center of black holes. When a massive star collapses under its own gravity, it forms a black hole containing a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume. At a singularity, space-time curvature becomes infinite and the known laws of physics break down. This isn't just a mathematical inconvenience, it indicates a physical situation where relativity no longer applies. The fact that singularities exist within relativity suggests that the theory is incomplete and that we need a new framework to describe what happens in these extreme conditions. Another significant challenge for relativity comes from the quantum world. While general relativity describes the behavior of massive objects like planets and stars, quantum mechanics governs the microscopic world of fundamental particles and forces. The problem is that these two theories don't agree with each other in extreme conditions, like near a singularity or during the earliest moments of the universe. One of the fundamental differences lies in how they treat time. In general relativity, time is woven into the very fabric of space-time and can stretch, bend, or even slow down near massive objects. Time is relative, varying depending on your position and velocity. Quantum mechanics, however, treats time as an absolute background parameter. In the equations of quantum mechanics, time flows uniformly, independent of the state of the system. This stark contrast creates significant challenges when trying to merge the two theories into a coherent framework. Another key difference is the nature of space-time itself. Quantum mechanics is background dependent, meaning it operates within a fixed space-time background, typically flat and unchanging. All quantum fields and particles exist and interact within this fixed backdrop. General relativity, on the other hand, is background independent. It doesn't assume a fixed space-time, but instead describes how space-time itself is dynamic, shaped by the presence of mass and energy. This divergence in how the two theories view space-time adds another layer of complexity when attempting to reconcile them. Attempts to combine general relativity with quantum mechanics into a single unified theory have led to the field of quantum gravity. This new theory aims to describe gravity at the smallest scales, where quantum effects cannot be ignored. However, constructing a consistent theory of quantum gravity has proven to be one of the most difficult challenges in theoretical physics. Two of the most prominent approaches in the quest for quantum gravity are loop quantum gravity and string theory. These theories aim to bridge the gap between the macroscopic world of general relativity and the microscopic world of quantum mechanics. Loop quantum gravity posits that space-time itself is quantized, meaning it has a discrete structure at the smallest scales. Instead of a continuous fabric, space-time is composed of tiny loops, each representing a quantum of space. In this framework, singularities like those at the center of black holes are avoided, as the loops prevent space-time from compressing into an infinitely small point. Loop quantum gravity is still a work in progress, but it offers a promising direction by suggesting that space-time has a fundamentally granular nature. String theory, on the other hand, takes a different approach by proposing that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles, but tiny one-dimensional strings that vibrate at different frequencies. These strings, which exist in a higher dimensional space-time, can account for all the known forces, including gravity. 
In string theory, gravity emerges naturally from the vibrations of these strings, potentially unifying it with quantum mechanics. However, string theory comes with its own set of challenges. The theory requires the existence of seven additional dimensions beyond the familiar three of space and one of time. According to the math of string theory, these extra dimensions are compactified or curled up so tightly that they're undetectable at our scale. While string theory is mathematically rich and has led to many interesting insights, it has yet to produce testable predictions, which makes it difficult to confirm or refute through experiments. Relativity also struggles with explaining the full contents of our universe. Observations show that the universe is made of only about 5% ordinary matter. Quadrillions of stars, planets, and life itself represent a paltry 5% of the universe. The rest is dark matter and dark energy, mysterious substances that we can't see but can detect through their gravitational effects. Dark matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe, doesn't interact with light, making it invisible. But we know it exists because of the way it affects the motion of galaxies and the bending of light around them. Then there's dark energy, making up roughly 68% of the universe, responsible for the accelerated expansion of the cosmos. Einstein initially introduced the cosmological constant to counteract the force of gravity, to achieve a static universe. After evidence surfaced, suggesting that the universe might be expanding, he abandoned the constant and famously called it his greatest blunder. However, the cosmological constant resurfaced with a new role, explaining the repulsive force of dark energy. Ironically, this so-called blunder has become a key concept in modern cosmology, though it still comes with a major puzzle because the observed value of the cosmological constant is vastly different from what theory predicts, leading to what's known as the cosmological constant problem, yet another great challenge in modern physics. Given these challenges, alternative theories of gravity have been proposed to extend or replace general relativity. One such theory is modified Newtonian dynamics, or MOND, which tweaks Newton's laws to explain galaxy rotation curves without invoking dark matter. Another is the FR theory, which generalizes Einstein's equations to allow for more complex relationships between matter and space-time curvature. Despite these efforts, no alternative theory has yet unseated general relativity as our best description of gravity. But the pursuit of a deeper understanding continues, driven by the tantalizing mysteries of dark matter, dark energy, and the quantum realm. As we push the boundaries of our understanding, we are reminded that even the most successful theories have their limits. General relativity has transformed our view of the universe, but it may only be one piece of a much larger puzzle. The search for a unified theory of everything, one that seamlessly merges relativity and quantum mechanics, remains one of the greatest challenges in physics. And perhaps one day, we will discover a theory that brings us closer to the ultimate truth about the nature of reality. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, stay curious.